one place with your music, you get stagnant, you know? And of course you can keep producing music, but there's only a certain amount of people you will, will reach. So whenever you go to a new place that opens your door, you know, to meeting new people and spreading more vibes and seeing new faces, and that's how the music thing grows to me, you know, and it's been very good for me. With all the travels, you know, it's been amazing. Um, I really enjoyed Canada at a part of my life, you know, 2004, 2005. Canada, I thought I would never go to America again after going to Canada, because they have all the same things America has, but it's just a whole different spirit of people there in Canada. And I found myself in some real rural areas, like on some mountainside, out in the Coupons, you call it. And I really loved it. I thought I would be out there right now. But um, after going and switching and going on to the east side of the world, you know, I went to Amsterdam, I went to Morocco, Barcelona, Madrid, and Spain. Nowhere like Ethiopia, which to me resembles the most as home. And all I can do is turn it around because really it's believed to me resembles a lot like Ethiopia. Everything in Ethiopia is, is bigger. The mangoes are bigger, the trees are bigger, the bananas are bigger, you know? Every, the lakes are bigger, the mountains. But it's so similar to Belize, the landscape and everything, the earth, you know, and the, the people, everything is the same. So I really appreciated being home, if you want to call it that, because everywhere I went, they would say, the first thing they would do is talk to me in Ethiopia, because I resemble an uh, Ethiopian. A lot of us here in Belize do, we might not know it, but if you go to Ethiopia, they, they're going to talk to you as you're one of them, until you open your mouth. And when you do, then they say, oh, where are you from? So you say, because they all talk English, you know, it's not a problem to get around and when they find out I'm from Belize most of them don't know where Belize is you know but they would all look at me and say welcome home you know so that was the blessing being there it really felt good and to be in a place that you have sung, sung about all your life you know and to see Shashamani high school and Shashamani bank and Shashamani everything it was like really heartwarming for me and I'll never forget that trip we have a lot of footage we have a pre-documentary on YouTube you can see, and I'm sure you have the footage you will show the people here on Belize to the Bone, but the full documentary is coming soon. You know, we're working on it day to day, and it's a long process because it's so much photos and so much video to share. Positive stuff, you know?